Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Amy and if you're new here I'd love if you'd subscribe and join my little family online here. I have had a crazy busy day. We did a 6k walk, I hovered the house, we cleaned the balcony, we went for lunch, we did all these things so I was just feeling ugh, just like manky. Do you know that kind of way? It's Saturday night, it's a bank holiday weekend and I just want to have a pamper night for myself. So I'm going to talk you through exactly what I do for my pamper night. So if that is something that you think you might be interested in, just stay tuned. Guys, just before we get started, I realized halfway through this video that I didn't do a disclaimer and I really feel like I should. I'm not any way qualified in skincare, in beauty, in makeup in anything like that but I just know what works for me and that's what I wanted to share with you so I just wanted to say that to you before you start watching this video and you might think I'm some sort of expert I'm absolutely not I just know like I say what works for me so that's what I wanted to share with you today so yeah let's get going <laughs> okay so first of all obviously I've had a shower <laughs> got out of the shower and guys I used this new body cream it is the most beautiful body cream I've ever ever used and I'm really fussy about body creams this one it's Neutrogena Hydro Boost Whipped Body Balm oh, now you know how much I'm obsessed with the moisturizer of this so when I saw this and I, of course it was on special I got it and it is just beautiful you just need the tiniest amount but yeah if you see this pick it up you will not regret it I promise fabulous so I didn't have makeup on today but I drew in my brows and I put on uh, mascara so while I was in the shower I usually just use my tolerant to kind of take off just anything kind of light I wouldn't use this for a really intense deep cleanse which is what I'm going to do tonight um, but it's lovely it's a foaming gel and I just find it's really handy and it does take off my eye makeup quite well as well so that's what I use in the shower at the moment I have nothing on my face and it's amazing I can just feel my face already going kind of like tight so I'm like it needs something it needs to just be exfoliated and a little mask and a few bits and pieces on it afterwards first thing that i do for my pamper night when i'm treating myself to a nice little home facial you would have seen me mention a couple of these details on in my insta stories but uh like only a probably a handful of you would have seen that because obviously it only lasts for 24 hours so this is my little pal and I love this so much. It is just the best thing that has ever entered into my beauty or skincare regime. It is amazing. This is a magnetone. So this is similar to a Clarisonic or the number seven brush or any of those kind of facial brushes. I pair my magnetone with a really good cleanser, usually a foam and cleanser, but in this case, I'm not gonna choose a foam and cleanser. In this case, I'm actually gonna use one of my Elemis products. This is my Dynamic Resurfacing Facial Wash. I know that they use this as part of the try enzyme facial when you go into an Elemis spa. I pop this on, I actually leave it on for like maybe a minute or two by itself and then I go in with my magnetone and I cleanse it all off and it is just gorgeous. So what I'm going to go and do now is wet this, wet my face, put this onto my face and then use my brush to cleanse my skin with both of those. So I'm going to go and do that and come back. Okay, so I'm back. I washed my face and I've popped this onto my face. So I just like to leave it on, like I said, for a minute. Just, I don't know. I just do. And because I leave, I want to leave this on for a minute, it dries ever so slightly and you don't really want that out of your cleanser. So then what I do is I get my little Aven thermal water spray. Guys, oh my God, right? This got me through last summer. For summer, get yourself some of these. They're not even that expensive. This is the small one and I think you can get this for maybe six or eight euro and you get a much bigger one for maybe 10. And it is just so fabulous. Even when, say you're coming home in the car after work and you're roasting or, you know, it's just really hot or you're on holidays by the pool and you just, you're starting to kind of overheat a little bit. This is glorious. In this case, I spray it over my face to kind of like give it a little bit more moisture. Oh definitely 100% I'm not sure if you can see it really with the light um, fabulous I really 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 think you should everyone should have one of these men women children everyone they're fab <laughs> I'm gonna start exfoliating with this brush what you'll see is that it'll allow me cleanse then it'll beep which indicates that I need to move to a different part of my face if you decide you want to like do this for five minutes you are going to break out let me tell you that you're going to break out so these are only meant to be used for the time that you're supposed to use it it's like your electric toothbrush if you have one it beeps you stop using it because you can over cleanse you can over brush you can just do do harm with it it is brilliant but just be conscious of that so okay so basically I'm gonna try and move away from the camera a little bit 
I just move it around. It vibrates itself and I just move it around one part of my face. I'm working that cleanser right into my skin. And now I'll move. So it's gonna be three times. So I kind of like incorporate my cheeks into my chin <laughs> and then my forehead down my nose. That's kind of my three areas. So it beeps twice then when it wants you to stop. You're done, that's it. And it makes your skin feel absolutely lovely. Then what I do is I go get one of my cloths. So in this case, I'll get my Elemis cloth. I've already dampened it. And I just take off the excess cleanser that's left on my skin. And that in itself adds another level of exfoliation to this process. So the next step is a lovely step. I'm gonna pop on a mask. I'm gonna use my Image Skincare, my Vital C mask. It's a hydrating enzyme mask. Again, expensive enough, but like I would have said on Instagram, I use a little flat foundation brush. I got this in pennies like so, so long ago, years upon years ago, but I use this to put on my mask. So that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna pop it out. It just means that you end up putting on a nice thin layer and you don't waste it. So I'm going to pop this on all over my face. Also, I'm kind of, you probably heard, I don't know what I was saying in my last video, I'm trying to get away from the likes of wipes and different things like that. And I feel the same way about sheet masks. I think that they're just kind of like a wipe that you're letting sit on your skin. So I'm trying not to use sheet masks, even though like they look funky and they're nice and all. I just think it's nicer when you have something in a pack that you can use loads and loads and loads of times as opposed to one sheet that you use for like 10 or 15 minutes and then you chuck in the bin and it's just exactly like a wipe, it just gets thrown away. So that's kind of my thought process there. Also, <laughs> I was only thinking of this when I was prepping for this video. If somebody told me even like two years ago or three, well, probably three years ago that I was gonna be on Instagram and on YouTube, putting myself on YouTube with no makeup on, I would have been like, oh my God, no way, I'll never do that. Isn't it so funny how things change and how life changes and I 100% firmly believe that the older you get the more comfortable you get in your skin physically and literally and you just don't care what people think and I'm at that stage I'm like yeah, I don't care I'm gonna leave that on for the half an hour now it's on to the hair my hair is quite broken and it's in need of TLC pretty much all the time but what I love is this John Frieda miraculous recovery hair mask I used to use this years ago I was never like it comes in a pot and I was never without a pot of it. And then, for some strange reason, I just stopped using it. Do you know those kind of products and something else comes out and then you kind of forget about it and they're like, oh no, I used that and that was like really, really good. So I'm gonna use this today. The really great thing about these little sachets of them is that they're about two or three euro. They're quite inexpensive, but I get about two uses out of one. So I think it's really handy. Take my hair out of my turby towel. This is a weekly treatment containing targeted anti-damage technology and powerful moisturizing ingredients. Now for you. So I'm gonna pop that in. I think the key as well to hair masks is actually brushing it through your hair. Just get my tangle teaser and I just brush the mask through my hair and then put it up into a grip. I'm going to go have my mask, have my food and come back and show you the rest of my routine. Yes, there is more, there is more. I'll talk to you in a bit. All right, I am back. What I'm gonna do is I have a cloth here that's kind of a little bit warm and I'm just gonna take my mask off with that. Oh, it feels so nice. Okay, so that is my mask taken off and my skin like actually just feels so good already. Then I come on to my three little wonder products. I'll go through these individually, but yeah, this is like when I'm proper having a home facial. So the first thing that I pop on after I've taken my mask off is my hyaluronic acid by The Ordinary. If you've been watching anything that I've ever done, I've talked about this probably four or five times at this stage. It is fantastic, so inexpensive. I get mine on Beauty Bay for about maybe six or seven euro and I absolutely love it. So I take a little bit of this, a couple of drops down onto my skin. The key for me with this product is not to like rub it, it's just to literally move it into your skin a little bit, but press it in. Next, I'm gonna put on my Clarins Blue Orchid Face Treatment Oil. And I just 
love it. It smells amazing. It like when I know my skin really needs something that's quite dehydrated, I go with this baby. I have my hyaluronic acid down and I'm putting this down on top of it then as well. So again, if you go in with this and you decide you want to massage it in, they'll ball up together. So I don't do that. I just pop a little bit down onto my skin. Oh, the smell of this. I'm big on smells. <laughs> the smell of this is just to die for. It's like, oh, total spa situation. So again, I'm just pressing the oil into my skin. If you're looking at me and saying, oh yeah, that's all well and good for you, Amy, but you don't have oily skin. No, I don't, but oils on oily skin are even better because normally when you have oily skin or if you have overly oily skin your body is producing too much oil because it thinks you don't have enough so when you introduce oil to your skin it rebalances everything and your skin then is like oh okay we have enough oil so we don't need to reproduce anymore and don't forget as well you can have dehydrated oily skin it can be a thing just because you have oily skin doesn't mean you have to skip out on moisturizers or skip out on hydrating your skin just try something like this get a little sample size of one of like maybe the trilogy oils or one of the clarins oils if you can get a sample in your local clarins counter and give it a go i promise you it's just it will work wonders for your skin. I let this soak into my skin for probably maybe half an hour and then after half an hour I'll go in with my night cream. I know this seems like a lot but I swear to you when I wake up tomorrow morning my skin is going to be like a baby's bum. I am telling you. Again this is what works for me, it might not work for you but my skin reacts so well to this and I really do feel pampered, like so pampered, it's so nice. I'm gonna let this do its thing. I'm gonna do this in probably about a half an hour's time, but this is my night cream. So this is the number seven essential moisture. Again, with me, because I have dry and dehydrated skin, I always go for moisture, 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 for dehydration, for all those kinds of things. So that's always what I'm gonna have. This is fine. I have, again, it's not something that I can say, oh wow, my skin just feels so moisturized afterwards. I probably won't repurchase it. I probably will move on and try and find something new. But for the moment, that is the night cream that I'm using. So what I do is pop this on after my oil has kind of set into my skin and that's it. Then I go to bed and I wake up in the morning and I don't overly cleanse my face. I literally just, in the morning after this routine, I just splash water on my face because there's no point in cleansing or going in with anything like abrasive because my skin essentially has had a treatment tonight. So there's no point in kind of going crazy with it. A couple of other little things that I do that I'm not gonna show on camera. Um, I exfoliate my lips on nights like tonight. So I use uh, my lip scrub. It, this is actually my PS. It, this is quite old. I'm not too sure if they even still do this. It's a salted caramel one. Not that that really matters, but it's a sugar scrub essentially and I mix that in with Vaseline. But yeah, I have this kind of setup that there is some of the scrub in the Vaseline. I just find that the Vaseline helps it stick together and you get a nice big scrub out of it. So I'm not gonna do that on camera. You can imagine what that does. You scrub your lips, whatever. So guys, that is my pamper night routine. I really, really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. I'm gonna go now and relax with Mike. I hope you all have a brilliant bank holiday weekend. And I really hope that if you are deciding to do a little pamper night, which I think is so important, like our self care and all that kind of thing is so, so important. So definitely treat yourself every week if you can to a pamper night. I know it mightn't be easy if you have kids or if you have commitments or whatever else, but really do. I think it's really, really important. Even if you just wash your face and do a mask, I think that that's in itself is super important. As always, I am so grateful to all of you that watch my videos in general I'm just so grateful so thank you so much and I will speak to you in my next video see ya